So let's practice making a shadow in Photoshop. I'm gonna go uh, copy an image off interfacelift.com. You can just, uh, for educational purposes, uh, download an image, uh, copy it, file new, and just uh, press OK. Photoshop knows how large the image is. Let's paste it. Let's try uh, getting a piece of this image. So what I'll do here is um, I'm going to use the uh, a crop tool. So we can use the crop tool to crop out a certain part that looks very pretty. So let's just crop out this little section here. It looks very interesting. And uh, make a nice selection like that and press enter. Now, of course, in the crop tool, you can drag out what parts exactly you want. You can drag out a corner as well. If you want this or this, press enter. And now we're going to go uh, control A, which selects everything. Edit copy. And then we can go File New and choose our dimensions. We'll just go 800 pixels by, uh, well, let's make this a bit bigger. Maybe how about a 1,000 by 1,000? So we have a big square box here. Uh, I probably should have went to 1,000 by 1,000 transparent. So we'll just transparent background here. Okay, since I copied the image, I can just paste it here. You can see that this is the dimensions, and the original image that I co copied was a bit big, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to scale it down a bit. Control T to transform, hold down Shift on a corner. We see that we have a nice uh, uh, picture here, and what we'll do is we'll create a nice gray background. So let's create a new layer, drag it down. Let's use a dark gray. Use a fill bucket tool. Right click, uh, choose the paint bucket tool. So we have a gray background. And something to play around with is the idea of a horizon or a, or a shadow. So what I'll do here with this picture, let me just uh, zoom in here a bit more. You can see it better. Is I'm going to actually uh, duplicate this layer. Right click, duplicate layer. Okay, and let's try going to edit, transform, and let's flip it vertically. So we flip it vertically, use the move tool, the first tool, and use those arrow keys. Pressing shift arrow moves it faster. And you can see here we have a mirror image. And if you zoom in, pressing control plus, you should see exactly where this should line up. And this uh, looks okay. If you click on uh, the background layer, you can see the image looking pretty clean. Uh, something you might want to try is you might want to change the opacity. If I just change it to like say 50%, and it looks like it's kind of like a more like a shadow-like. So we're on this layer. This layer we're going to call it the uh, shadow layer. And you can think of the, this, there being water here, and you can actually make some kind of uh, uh, effect in that way. Uh, let's try going to edit transform. Let's try skewing it. If we skew it and you drag near the bottom, you see some two arrows. You can try actually skewing out things like that. Press Enter. Click on the background layer. You can see it's it's kind of uh, uh, it looks um, like the water is on an angle there. You can press Control T to transform uh, the actual shadow layer again. <coughs> Control T. You can even make it flatter. So you can really mess around here. Uh, something else you might want to consider trying is um, using the rectangular marquee tool or the polygon lasso tool and uh, choosing a feather setting. If I choose a feather setting of say 20 pixels and I highlight this uh, area here and I press delete, we have a feather delete. This could look very pretty if you have some nice kind of water uh, horizon here. We can even go to filter and uh, liquify and you might want to actually uh, change the size of the liquify, liquify brush using the square brackets or the um, you can use the forward warp tool you can even like kind of mess it around a little bit that's too extreme you can just uh, change the options as to how much you want to liquify that and just cancel out of there so uh, whether you're talking about water reflections or whether you're talking about even shadows on a beach maybe you can find the silhouette of a body on a beach find that little shadow rotation there uh, this technique is uh, it's quite effective. If we were to have a silhouette of a person's body on a beach and you wanted to create an artificial shadow this way, 
something you might consider doing is say this was the person. It actually wasn't a square box, but this actually has a transparent uh, silhouette. You might consider double clicking it, and and uh, in terms of the actual uh, shadow layer, uh, you might consider uh, doing a co color overlay. Right now, this color overlay makes it rectangular, but if we had transparency, you would actually see the person's shadow on the ground, and you might want to make the shadow like gray or or black, and and uh, and of course, once you have that silhouette, the black shadow, you might want to change the opacity down. And this is one good technique to to play around with creating shadows and reflections.